shoot down the plane. Why did we pass this information to the Americans? Either they were not controlling what their allies were doing, or they are leaking this information all over the place, he said. Two Turkish journalists were jailed recently for publishing images revealing Turkish trucks supplying ammunition to Syrian militants. Erdogan's administration has been responsible for vandalism, intimidation, and imprisonment of free press operating in Turkey. Last year, Newsweek reported that ISIS fighters were allowed to travel through the Turkish territory to reinforce ISIS fighting Kurdish forces. Regardless, the Syrian rebel myth continues. The Pentagon had anticipated that it would have trained 5,000 anti-ISIS rebels by now. The naked truth of Obama's linchpin illusion that there truly is a moderate rebel Syrian army was pitifully revealed last year when General Lloyd Austin testified that only four or five moderate rebels were currently battling ISIS and that 100 to 120 were being trained. It's simple. The NATO UN-backed coalition still wants to take Syria's President Assad out, and they are still backing the ISIS monstrosity they created, fund, and continue to supply, all in the name of completing their Eurasian strategy to trudge on toward a new world order. John Bound for Infowars.com. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the Infowar store and on the back it says legalize freedom show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today but what she's done is criminal this is an American president just add puppet then vote and repeat every four years You know, as I look at this Hillary Clinton laughing pin, it makes me think, has she just laughed at the guys, all these comedy guys who made fun of her? We wouldn't even have this contest, the Make Fun of Hillary Clinton contest, because some people from the Laugh Factory decided that they would just, on one night, make fun of Hillary just like they make fun of everybody. They make fun of Obama, and they still make fun of George Bush and Bill Clinton and every other politician that's in the major spotlight. But Mrs. Clinton took extreme offense to this and actually tried to shut them down. So now we're running a contest where we're actually awarding you, rewarding you for making fun of Hillary Clinton. Now we have several entries and the contest is still ongoing. You can go to Infowars.com for full contest details. We have a grand total of $6,000 in cash prizes, $5,000 for number one, $1,000 for number two, and a free uh, Hillary for prison t-shirt and laughing pin for number three. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these entries.
Oh my god. The right-wing nutjob conspiracy theorist Alex Jones from Infowars.com is such a racist, sexist, homophobic, bigoted Republican. You've probably seen his lunatic conspiracy theories exposed by various reputable media outlets such as Salon, Raw Story, Media Matters, or MSNBC. But his latest stunt has taken things way too far. He just announced a contest to get his cult minion followers to create hateful, intolerant YouTube videos, making fun of the next president of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Just because the Hillary campaign threatened the Laugh Factory for making jokes about Miss Clinton doesn't give him the right to criticize her. What makes him think he can invade her safe space with his disgusting hate speech anyway? Alex Jones and Infowars are totally irrelevant. They're just a vocal minority. If you Google top political websites and click on the first link, they're only the seventh biggest website on the list with 13 million unique visitors to their website per month. But look at who is above them. HuffPo number one and Salon number six. Hashtag winning. What can Infowars and their fringe followers possibly say about Hillary anyway? That she's too good of a role model? Too beautiful? That her hair is too fabulous, or that she's too inspirational, she's never done anything wrong. So I have a message for you, Mr. Alex Jones. None of the venomous hate you spew towards Hillary will face her at all. She will just laugh it off with her contagious, majestic laugh. <laughs> Doesn't she sound like an angel? I can't wait to see the hate and lies that these info warriors come up with. They will probably try to say that she can't even keep her man satisfied because her husband, Bill Clinton, cheated on her all the time with tons of women. She stood by her man and viciously attacked and ridiculed all the women who came forward about Bill aggressive sexual abuse. Did you call her a narcissistic loony too? I am not going to comment on what I did or did not say. Isn't she just a strong, independent woman? Just look at her recent tweet about the sexual abuse of women. She totally cares about the rape victims. Like when she defended a child rapist she knew was guilty in 1975. Mrs. Clinton seems to admit she knew the defendant was guilty. The whole Monica Lewinsky scandal was just a right-wing conspiracy theory. Hillary totally debunked it. This vast right-wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband. God, I I hate the stupid, mouth-breathing, knuckle-dragging Republicans. They're always trying to say Hillary and Bill Clinton's foundation took millions of dollars for private jets, and that the foundation is full of Monsanto and giant corporate connections. Fox News says the Clinton Foundation only gave a small percentage of money to charity, but we all know Fox News is nothing more than right-wing propaganda sponsored by the Koch brothers. Critics claim that the speeches Hillary gave to the big banks for millions of dollars were an advanced auction of stolen goods, but Hillary is so wise and experienced, she deserves that much money for her speeches. She doesn't owe the banks anything. Bernie Sanders even tried to use use the establishment insider 1% talking point in the second Democratic debate, but Hillary's answer shut him down. Wall Street been the major uh, campaign contributor to Hillary Clinton. I represented New York on 9-11. We were attacked in downtown Manhattan, where Wall Street is. It makes perfect sense, right? She was a senator when 9-11 happened, so that's why Wall Street gives her the money. How could anyone possibly think she would owe the banks anything for that? It's like they don't understand how the real world works. They just give her money because 9-11, duh. I don't know why the retarded Republicans won't stop whining about the stupid email scandal. Who cares if Hillary illegally set up a private server in her home and used a separate secret email account for official government business and then wiped the servers clean after being subpoenaed by the Justice Department to turn over the emails? I, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I don't, I have no idea. That's why we turned it over. So you we, were in charge of it. You were the official in charge. Did you like the service? What, like with a cloth or something? No, well, no. I don't know how it works digitally at all. Just because she's like super famous doesn't mean she doesn't deserve privacy. Have a little trust, people. It's not like she has anything to hide. She was the best Secretary of State like ever. She traveled to like thousands of different countries and made the world a much better and safer place. She had radical jihadis take out Gaddafi, the king of Libya, you know, the guy with the botched plastic surgeries. It was on her watch that he was dragged in the streets, raped, and murdered. She even took credit for it on TV. We came. We saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> Isn't she such a strong, powerful woman? Libya became a failed state, which led to the attack on the consulate in Benghazi, where four Americans were killed. The delusional Republicans tried to blame Hillary, but once again, Hillary shut them up when she was investigated. What difference at this point does it make? They're already dead, so what does it even matter? To all the social justice warriors out there, find these videos, give them a thumbs down on YouTube, and expose them for the sexist pigs they are in the comments. There's no need to watch any of the videos, though, and if any of the comments say anything mean or hurtful about Hillary, regardless if it's true, report them to YouTube for spam and abuse. Sure, Hillary has a long history of so-called scandals and is under multiple investigations, but it doesn't matter. It's time for a female to be in the White House, and she already has the nomination on lock before the primaries have even started. We all know what this contest is really about, Alex Jones. You hate women, and you can't stand the fact that Hillary is going to be our next president. No matter what stupid contest you have, her supporters are going to vote for her no matter what. Your misogynistic, white supremacist, patriarchal fantasy is coming to an end and you're just gonna have to deal with it because I'm ready for Hillary.
Good evening once again. Welcome to News 4. Top story today, Hillary Clinton landed at Greenwood Lake Airport in West Milford, New Jersey. She was warmly greeted by nobody. She quickly got on Air Force One to leave, and I was more than happy to send her off. That's the top of the news today. Have a nice evening. Okay, that's all, folks. Thank you for watching the evening news. I sure miss Ronald Reagan. Have a nice evening. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. <laughs> Bosnia's acting president greeted Hillary Clinton and her daughter Chelsea in Tuzla this morning. So did an eight-year-old Bosnian girl who was four when the civil war broke out in her country and says she can't remember a time before it. Because it's a landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles. Uh, everyone else was told to sit on their uh, bulletproof uh, vest. We came in in an uh, evasive maneuver. Um, there was no greeting ceremony and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Her arrival in Bosnia was not quite as dramatic as Clinton put it. Memory should always match the videotape. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to go to prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. And also go to YouTube, the Alex Jones channel on YouTube, where you can see the great reports there as well. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Oh, I, will, oh, I wish we go back to the days. I'm telling you of just getting my satisfaction out in the street. You pick a sword or something else, you're going out in the street. I'm not kidding, you cowardly scum. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com, L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.